Hi everyone. Welcome to Walking and Talking with Phoenix. Just uh, having a casual stroll through Maya at the moment. It's a pretty cool place, right? For all your feminine needs. And uh, today I just want to give a quick message to those that feel the need to just cake their face with tons of makeup. Half the time I see girls doing this, you know, pretty much painting a new face. I think, you know, why? Why do they feel the need to do this? I mean, they're, they're so beautiful as it is, just naturally. And where's a lift? Gonna get a, a lift out of this place. Excuse me, you know where the lift is? I saw a sign. I've got no idea. Okay, behind the wall, thank you. Okay, so I see these, you know, very beautiful young ladies just painting these faces on. And I can't help but think, you know, that this is actually working against them. I mean, I know we live in a very superficial society and women are conditioned in this culture and this society to be you know, like objects and to adorn themselves and make themselves look very pretty and attractive as to attract a potential mate, you know. A woman is taught to, to uh, evaluate her value based more on external observations than internal realizations, right? So, I understand why they feel the need to like wear some makeup just to bring out their good looks, you know, just to just to make themselves a little bit shinier, a little bit more colourful and prettier, you know? But girls that just wear pure foundation, so you can't even see any wrinkles or anything, you know? They look like walking mannequins, basically. How, where am I going? How do I get out of this, this dungeon? This smelly, smelly dungeon? Anyway, they pretty much paint new faces, and... Like I said, I think it works against you when you can't see anything, and you, you know, your face looks white a lot of the time, it doesn't even match with the rest of your body, it looks like you're wearing like a clown mask or one of those mind masks, you know? Um, I think this is the only way out. And I actually think it works against you because a lot of people will assume that you're hiding something, that you've got a horrible face to hide in the first place. You know? If you wear a little bit of makeup just to bring out your features, that's understandable, that's acceptable. Otherwise, you know, if, you, if you're painting in your face, people are going to question what face did you have before and why are you hiding it? And they're only going to assume the worst, you know. I see girls without pimples, without anything wrong with them. They've literally just got a few wrinkles, a few freckles, you know, an imperfection here and an imperfection there. And then they practically cover it all, give themselves this white, white painted face. And every time I think, ooh, you know, that is nowhere near as appealing or as pretty as how they were before naturally. Maybe a bit of eyeliner would be okay, a little bit of foundation. But seriously, the amount that some of these people go to, these girls go to, is excessive. And like I said, people are only gonna ask why it needs to be so excessive. Why you've gotta wear that much makeup, and they're only gonna assume the worst of what's behind the makeup. If you've got a nice face with a few imperfections, I think it's better to let that shine, let people know that you're attractive without needing to cake on makeup. Let people know that you're attractive naturally. Otherwise, you're just gonna give them reason to be suspicious, and beauty is only skin deep after all. In this case, a few layers of makeup deep. And the more layers you have, the more potential there is for suspicion to roam. You know what I'm saying? So if you've got the looks naturally, it's better just to let a few imperfections shine than to try to look perfect, but questionably perfect. Thanks.